hello everyone and welcome back to flo's corner so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i achieve white candied fruit you can use this recipe to make any type of fruits even candied apples as well here are all the ingredients that i will be using in this video i will link all the measurements in the description box below before doing anything with fruit you always want to clean your fruit here i'm going to submerge my strawberries and my grapes in water and then I'll take two tablespoons of white vinegar and add it to my strawberries and one tablespoon and add it to my grapes. I'll let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes before rinsing. Now that they're rinsed, the next step that I'm going to be doing is Taking some paper towel, take each strawberry one by one and dry off as best as you can to get them completely dry. Then I will set them down on the silicone mat. Because the grapes are smaller, I take about two to three at a time and just rub them in between the paper towel to get them dry. Now I will take these 3.75 inch skewers that I purchased from Dollar General and I will insert them into the grapes and strawberries. I prefer this length of skewers versus the small toothpicks because dealing with hot candy mixture can be very, very detrimental if you burn yourself. Now you just take your skewer and insert it where you uh, detach the grapes from the actual stems. You just want to push in just the close enough not to where it pierces on the other side. Continue to do that for all the rest of the grapes. Now onto the strawberries. If you haven't watched my videos on how to dip strawberries, it's the same method when placing the skewers inside of the strawberry. Right at the top where the stem is, you're gonna take two skewers. I prefer two skewers because they give you a better grip. And the same like the grape, you don't wanna go too far where you are piercing through the other side. So this candied fruit was going to be consumed by me and my little love so I decided to cut off the stem part just so it can make it easier for the kids to eat the whole strawberry. You do not have to remove the stems if you are making this for a customer. You can keep the stems on and dip regular. Now that the stems are off, you will pat them dry at the top because now that's where all the juice and the moisture is. You want to make sure all the moisture is out when dipping. If not, it'll make your candy mixture seize up, which you do not want. Now once again, you will insert two skewers at the top of this strawberry. If you notice any juice or any moisture coming out, just take your paper towel and pat dry. Once all of the fruit has their skewers inside, I just move them all away and let the air dry them naturally. Now onto our candied mixture. Here I'm using two cups of white sugar, a half a cup of water, and a quarter cup of corn syrup. Find any size pot that works for you. 
If you're making a small amount of candy fruit, then a small pot can actually do the job. If you're making large amounts or if you're dipping candied apples, then I would suggest using a medium or large size pot. Now you will pour in your sugar, then your water and your corn syrup and then mix it all together. Here you want to stir very well. You want all the sugar to be incorporated and mixed into the water evenly. You don't want chunks of sugar in your candy mixture because it just won't boil the way that you want it and you don't want to risk having bumps or anything like that inside of your candied mixture. Now you will take your candy thermometer, here this one I purchased at Walmart. It's crucial to have a thermometer because you need to know the temperature of your candied mixture. The normal temperature for a candied mixture at a hard crack stage is 300 degrees. If you remove your candy mixture before it hits 300 degrees, that is considered the soft crack stage. I don't really like this stage. It is still dippable, but when you are consuming them, it is very sticky. It tends to stick onto your teeth and it just makes it undesirable and unpleasurable when eating. If you let it boil over 300 degrees, then your candy mixture will burn and have the taste of burnt candied and it is not desirable at all. Now you will put your stove on medium high heat. At different temperatures, you will notice that your candy mixture is starting to boil and look different at different stages. And that is okay, that is what you want. The whole process is not to touch the candy mixture while it is boiling. The difference when you are making white candied fruit is that you do not add any of the flavor or the color until after you are finished completely with the mixture. This will prevent the white from burning while cooking. Here I just added one tablespoon of coconut flavoring and then I'm going to add my Chef Master liquid gel white color. For this step, you can add as much white as you feel that you need to get the white color that you desire. Take your spatula and now you can mix all of the color and flavoring together and now you can achieve the white that you want. If you notice that it's still looking a little bit opaque or not feeling like it's not white enough, then don't worry, just add more white. And don't worry about the white looking like it has a little color in it, like a little yellow or maybe off-white. It just looks like that because you just it just came off of the stove. Once you continue to keep stirring, it'll get whiter or just add a little bit more white. Now you just take your fruit and dip them one by one. Like I said, these are just for me and my little loves to consume, so I'm not doing such a great job at dipping them as if I would if I was doing it for a customer. You can check out my other videos on my channel to learn how to dip in detail candied fruit.
but my main goal for this video was to show you how to achieve the white colored candied fruit. When removing the skewer, you just do a slight twist and then pull out. And there you have it. They came out so nice, so elegant looking. I love the way the white just sits on the candied fruit. It gives it such a nice shine. I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.